Hi everyone, I'm Brittany. I'm friends with Michelle and I um, am a wellness coach and uh, have a background in exercise physiology and dancing. So today I'm going to um, have a ballet bar workout for you. And lest you think this is not that easy because bar is the warm up for ballet, uh, you might think again at the end of this. Um, so it should be a really good workout. And not only are we going to be working your lower body, but we'll be working your upper body throughout the time where you're holding your arms out in good ballet positions. And uh, we'll do a little floor bar as well. And then we'll finish off with a nice heart rate increase for you. And then we'll do some stretching. So it should be a nice, fun workout for you. And so if you're new to ballet, totally fine. I'm going to explain things and you just do the best you can. You will still get a workout, that is for sure. Uh, and if you are advanced, well, hopefully this will bring you back to um, something that's just fun, uh, not to not too difficult or heady, um, but more just something to feel good in your body. So I will explain each move and we'll do them on both sides of the bar. Now the bar I'm using up here is actually like a countertop. And so I'll use it for one side and then um, normally I would flip around for you, but I'll face you the whole time. So that way you know um, what to do there. And Basically, you can use the back of a couch or a chair um, or anything that you have, maybe a bed post, anything that you have in your house. And then we will use a mat for the stretching at the end. So grab a mat if you've got it um, or be on a nice rug or something like that. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to start out with is plies. Okay, so I'll explain these and then I'll hit the music and we will go. And a little note on the music, Michelle and I met back in 2004, uh, one of our first days of college. And so our music today is none other than summer hits of the 2000s because reminiscent. So let's get started with plies. We're going to start in first position. So your hands can be on your bar. Feet together with the heels and your toes pointed outward. And you only want to point your feet outward as far as your knees will track over them when you bend down in plie position. So that'll protect your knees, keep everything in alignment. So for our ballerinas actually out there, you could probably get a lot farther, but go to where you can. So hand on the bar, and we're just going to take a demi, so a slow little plie and out. Demi and out. We'll do a grand plie all the way down and out. Pour de bras forward. Stretch out that back. Bring it up. Pour de bras back and around. Then we'll tendu to second and do demi again. Demi, grand. And then we'll bring it to the side and stretch and the other side stretch. Then we'll bring it together in fifth, which means right heel, or for you left, heel, left toes, right toes, left heels pointed together. Okay, so you see that. We'll do the demi, demi, grand, and then from here we'll do a full port of bras. So you're going to reach out to the side, scoop all the way around, and all the way back, come forward, and then retrace your steps all the way around and down and up. We'll take a tendu to second, plie, roll through your feet, stand up and balance. Okay, so let's get started with our plies first. So I'll get the music going. Here's some old school stuff for us. Here we go. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Demi in first. Demi. Grand. Port de bras forward. Nice stretch. Pull it up. And back. Look over the shoulder. Tondu second. Demi. Demi. Grand. 
hands to the side. Stretch and up. To the other side, stretch. Together, Tanju Fit. Demi. Demi. Bronze. And we're quarter drawing all the way around. Nice. And let's reverse. Around, stretch it out. Hitting all four corners as we go around. Nice stretch for that back. Up. Tandu. Second. Plie. Roll through the feet. Come up to balance. You can keep your arm here or balance. Good breathing. Abdominals in. Three, two, one. Good. Very well done. Let's switch sides. Okay? So we can pretend I have a bar here. Other side in first. Abdominals in. Five, six, seven, eight. Denny. Demi, bronze, quarter grip forward, and back, good, Demi the second, or Tanya second, Demi, Demi, bronze, and stretch, other side. Tanju fifth, Demi, Demi, come on, shaking, it's okay. <laughs> and four to draw all the way around. Nice big stretch, bring it around, and retrace your steps. Get that back all warmed up. Good. Tanju. Second, plie, roll through the feet, and balance. Three, two, one. Good. Very well done. Excellent. So hopefully you're starting to feel a little warmed up. That really works the legs and glutes, obviously. Um, so our next thing is going to be something called tendus. So a tendu is where your feet are tracing the floor. So we're bringing it out to a point but your feet always stay on the floor. So what we're going to do is actually face the bar for this one, but I'll show it to you facing forward. And all you're going to do is eight tendus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch sides, eight on this side, and then you'll do four on this side, four, two on this side, two, then one, 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 and that will be the end of it. So the fun part is that it goes really fast and we're really working the inner and outer thighs on this. You will feel those inner thighs for sure. So let's get started. Face your bar and I'll face you, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, Tom two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Good job. Hope we got that. Let's do it one more time. Really feel those inner and outer thighs. This time, anytime. One leg is out, the opposite arm can come up, and then you switch, okay? So here we go. Keeping those abdominals in, really trying not to shift too much from the upper body. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, 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 and yay, yes! 
as a brain teaser for sure. All right, good work. How are you feeling? Hopefully good. So our next thing is going to be degages. So they're just like a tondu, but now they come up off the floor a little bit, not very high. So essentially, you're just bringing it up like this. See, I'm not going very high, but I'm really using my foot as I'm coming to a point to, to press energy out and to lift it off the ground. So we're going to do degages in en croix, or en croix, which basically means in the cross position. So we can start in that fifth position that we finished the phase on, hips pointing forward, and we're just going to do degage front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, and we'll do that four times. And then on the final one, you'll end here, and so we're going to come up to fifth, so scooch those toes in, really engage those abdominals and those glutes, and then you can balance here, maybe even bring those arms up to fifth if you like. So that's all we'll do on that side, and then we'll switch sides. All right, so, next song. Fifth position. Two more, front, side, back, side. One more, front, side, back, side. Close, come up to fifth, hold. You can bring those arms to fifth if you want more of a challenge. Three, two, one, good. Well done. All right, let's switch to the other side. So you would flip around or move your chair around. And I'll be over here. Other foot in front in fifth position. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. Good. Front, side, back, side. Last one, front, side, back, side. Good. Come together in fifth. Come on up, balance. Nice and tight, the glutes and the abs. Maybe the arms come up, shoulders stay down. Yay. Three, two, one, and done. Good job. All right, so really getting the legs and feet warmed up from those last, those, oh, those first two, or those last two <laughs> that we just did. Um, so our next move is actually going to be um, something called rond de jambe. So it's like going in a circle or a round. And so that'll really, again, kind of work inner and outer thighs as well as the lower legs and feet too. So to start, we'll start actually back in first, like our very first plie. Arm will come out. Now I love rond de jambe because this is where you get to embellish things. It's way fun. So take your time with it. Make it juicy, make it your ballerina moment, okay? So we'll start in first, and you're going to bring the foot forward like a tendu, and just keep it on the ground and go around four times. Okay, four, and then you're going to brush it forward. Take that arm along with you as you plie and point forward in like an arabesque, but this toe stays on the ground. Then we're gonna rock the weight back through a plie, Lift up the arm, look into the arm, beautiful face, like the light shining on your cheek. Good, and then pull it together. <laughs> and then we're going to do those ronde jambes for the opposite direction. Four, and then you're gonna lift that leg up. It can be 45 degrees or 90 if you're feeling good. <laughs> 45 for me. And around, forward, and down. So from there, we're going to go back now. So back again, two, three, four. We're scooching back, it's like we're just reversing things. And forward, and then we're gonna come through and around, three, four, leg up to the front now, side, Ooh, back and 
ground, passe. And now you can come up to a balance. You can leave that arm on the bar if you want. You can balance. We'll see how good my balance is today. Bring that toe forward and down. Okay? So we're basically doing forward and back all in one for one side, and then we'll switch sides. All right, so here's a fun one for our Ron de Jambes. Again, make it juicy, have fun with it. Your ballerina moment. Starting in first. Five, six, seven, eight, Ron de Jambes. Two, three, four, step forward nice and slow. And back, nice and slow, around the jaw the other way. Back, 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 back foot up, what's it around, and down, good. Run the jaw back, 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 step, fit, back, step, fit, forward. Run the jaw forward, good. Three. Four foot up, foot the around to the back. Passe. Come up on your toe if you want. Balance if you want. Woo. Nice and solid, baby. And come down. Good. All right, so we're going to do that to the other side now using your opposite leg. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, round the jump forward. Step forward, step back, round the jump back, and back. Good. Leg off the ground, back, side, forward, and down, round the jump back, back, back. Back and lean it back. Woo! Lean <laughs> forward. Round it on forward. Good. Three, four, and up. Around, around. Passe. Come on up. Woo! Make all use the balance on that. I gotta be working on my classes, don't I? Good. Toe forward. And down. Excellent. Good job. All right. So let's speed things up a little bit. That's kind of like a nice flowy thing in the middle of bar. Um, but we're going to do something called Grand Bat Maz. These are my favorite and they are basically big kicks. That's what it is. So we're going to do the same en motion that we did before with our degages when we were lifting off the ground like so. We're gonna do this higher. So basically, as high as you can, okay? So front, side, back, side. We're gonna do that four times. I don't know about you, I'm already out of breath, so we'll be out of breath by the end of that. But on that very last one, when you do a kick to the side, you're gonna rise up on your standing leg, cross into that nice fifth position, and do a suit move. So you basically just spin halfway around, and then you can start kicking with the other leg, so you'll already be turned around. Now, if that's super fast because you're moving your chair or something, just take a break, back up the video, you're totally fine. Um, but if you can do it, do it. And I'll, of course, turn to face you again. All right? So, Grand Bat Maz. Here we go. Big kicks. I'm going to keep scooting things. <laughs> All right, so starting with fifth, and you can use the arms if you like, so watch the arms here. Here we go. Up, side, back, side, good, up, side, back, side. Two more times. Up, side, back, side, one more. And your suit new comes now. Spin and up. Good. Back. Side. Good. Up. Side. Back. Side. And up. Side. Back. Side. Last time. And up. Side. Back. Side. Suit. 
suits in new. Good job. So the crazy thing about ballet is that you don't have to do very much or very long for things to get out of breath. So it's a good workout, right? Okay, so that's the last part that we have specifically at a bar. Our next thing is actually going to be um, down on the ground. And I mentioned we were gonna do a floor bar. So let me change this orientation for you here. But essentially, you're going to be laying on your stomach and we're going to be working those back postural muscles and your arms at the same time. So what this will look like is when you're laying down, like so, you're going to have your arms in a fourth position. I'll show you this way first. So one will be curved towards the top of your head. The other will be curved, but more straight out to the side. Okay, so you're gonna start here and you're just gonna lift from the back. So point to the hips, pressing down to the ground and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so we'll do that four times and then we'll switch to the other side and down and then we'll switch again so we'll do that twice through four on one side four on the other four on one side four on the other we'll take a little break in uh, child's pose rest the back and then we're going to do twice through from fifth position so where your arms are here and you're just raising and holding raising and holding okay so we'll do that four times four times again and then we'll take a break in child's pose. All right, so again, keep those hip points on the ground the whole time. We basically want nothing in the lower body moving. You wanna just basically feel like your lower back is a hinge, just coming up, up, and that's the only part that moves, okay? So let's get to work on those postural muscles and those arms. So down on your stomach, one arm up, one arm to the side. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Last one on this side up. Down, switch, arms. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Last one, up, down, switch, arms, up, down, up, down, keep going, up, down, up, down, switch, arms, last four, and then a break, up, down, up, down, last one, up, down, good, push it back. Child's pose. Woo! Round that back. Hope it's really in the opposite motion there. All right, so now we're gonna do our two rounds in fifth position, both arms above the head. So back down onto the stomachs. Arms rounded above your head. Take a breath. Five, six, seven, eight. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Good rest here. Five, six, seven, eight, and up. Down, up, down, up, down. Last one. Up, down. Good. Push it back to that child's pose. Shift it around a little bit. Okay, so we're going to finish out on a really fun part um, that I always loved of ballet class. Um, it's in the center. So basically we've done our bar work and now we're coming um, to the center and we're trying to do things uh, that help with balance. And obviously when you're dancing, you're dancing away from a bar. Uh, so you get to then practice all the things in the center of the floor. And so we're gonna do something that's gonna get our heart rates up. We're not gonna go for very long, uh, but like bar stuff, 
it works real fast. So I'm going to show you some jumps. So these are like petite or small little jumps. We're not leaping through the air the way we love those. Um, I know we all don't have tons of space usually in your house to do that. So we're just going to stick with something small but fun. So we're going to start in first position. Okay, you're going to plie and just jump and come down. Okay, so plie, jump, come down. Now the goal is as you're jumping, you're pointing your feet. I'm still working on getting better at this. So wherever you are, be better <laughs> and do your best. Um, but as you come down, notice that I bend my knees. Okay, so it's a softer landing. So more than focusing on pointing your toes, focus on coming down slowly, like you're putting on the brakes every time you come down. Okay, so we're gonna do eight of those in first position. Okay, so one, two, three, and so on, okay? As soon as we finish with those eight, we're gonna move a foot in, floor, in front into fifth position, and we're gonna do the same thing, but switch feet. Ooh, wow, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Okay, so we'll do eight of those. So eight in first, foot comes forward, eight in fifth, but switching feet, okay? So we're gonna do that, and then I'll come face you, again and we will talk about the second jump that we will do. So we got a fun one. It's very dancey for us here. All right. First position. Eight here. Ooh, breathe. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, switch. Good. Breathe. Let's do that one again. We'll go a little bit faster. So the higher you jump, the less easy it is to stay on uh, on feet there. Okay, take a breath. music for a second. I'm out of breath. How about you? Hopefully you're doing well. So the last thing we're going to do, so I want you to give it all you've got. Last thing we do before stretching is another petite jump. Uh, we call it an échappé. So you're going to jump out into second, come together crossed in fifth. Out into second, come together with the other foot crossed in fifth. Okay. Second, fifth, second, fifth. So we'll do that four times. Second, fifth, second, fifth, second, fifth, second, fifth. And then you'll come back to the crosses in fifth eight times, okay? So it's second, fifth, second, fifth, second, fifth, second, fifth, eight of the crosses in fifth, okay? So don't worry, we'll do it a couple of times so you can get it down. So let's get it started again. Here we go. All right, so we're starting in fifth. Remember, jumping out to second, closing fifth four times, and then fifth, switching eight times. Five, six, seven, eight. Out, close, out, close, out, close, out, close, 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 close. Good. Did you get it? Well, don't worry, we'll do it again. Okay? Take a breath. Breathe. Let's start with the other foot in front. Make sure we're even on both sides. Good. Shake it off. Breathe. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Out, close, out, close, out, close, out, close, and switch, 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 switch. Good job. Awesome work. Whew. Hopefully we're all out of breath together. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. 
We're gonna do a bar stretch first. So depending on what you have and depending on your flexibility, grab what you've got. You know, obviously here, I've got this high counter spot, but if you're not feeling like throwing a leg up there, you know, I've got a bench or a table here that are lower. So try and find something like that if you like. Otherwise you can do all this on the ground, okay? So let's get started with our next song. Kind of slowing it down, bringing that heart rate down. What you're gonna do is put one leg up, turn your hips to face the bar, point that toe, arms up, flat back, and come over. Fold over that leg, stretch your hamstring. towards your leg, stretching the IT band on that straight leg. You feel it on the outside of your leg that's up. Good. Come forward. We're going to scooch that leg forward a little bit. Standing leg goes out like you're in first. Arm comes out, up and over. Stretch out the side of your body here. your leg again. Pull that leg off. Now from here, we're going to do a figure four stretch. So you can do that up on the bar if your flexibility allows, or you can do it standing here, or you can lay on your back and pull the leg in. Go ahead and choose whichever way works for you. Fold over, keeping that leg flexed. That's bent with the bent knee. So you're protecting your knee. Stretch it out. Maybe shift around a little. Feeling what feels good here. Good. And slowly come up. Take that leg. Do our little balance challenge. Leg into your hand. We're going to come into a dancer's pose. So you're just going to shift the leg back, hooking your, your foot into your hand. Other arm can come up forward and stretch. Good. Balance, breathe. Great. Good. Kind of shake it off. And then we'll do the other side here. So, other leg comes up onto your bar. Point your toe. Arms up. Hips square towards your foot. And flat back, fold over. Stretch your hamstrings. They probably need it after those kicks, right? Good. Walk your hands up, arms to a T, rotate towards the leg that's up, stretching the outside of that upper leg. You can feel it honestly all the way from your ankle to your glutes. Good. Shift forward. Bring that upper foot forward a bit. Rotate your standing toes out, arm comes up, and over, stretch that side body. Good, come on up, face your foot, and then we're going to come into that pigeon stretch again. So whichever variation you took on the other side, do so here. Remembering to flex your foot, protect that knee. Fold over to whatever feels comfortable. And breathe. Making sure you're breathing through all this. We're getting that heart rate down. We're enjoying the benefits of the bar work that we did today. Good. Come on up. Balance challenge on this side. Ground down through that standing leg. Foot into your hands. Kick the hand back, other arm comes up, and balance. Good. Nicely done. Excellent. Let's move it to the floor so you can grab your mat again. And we're just going to come into a downward dog first. So, 
nice downward dog. Really pedal those feet. You work those calves a lot, especially with the numps. Pressing back. Nice stretch for the back of the legs here. Good. And let's bring one foot forward. Set your other knee down. Coming into a lunge position on the ground. So we're going to shift those hips forward, but still maintain some good um, uh, contraction, that's the word I'm looking for, in the glutes so that you don't just dump into this hip. We want to still protect the hip flexors while we stretch them. So nice uh, contraction. <laughs> Stretching the hip flexors. If you want to go deeper and get a quad stretch, you can take the opposite arm around. Pull that foot back and stretch. If you want more of a balance challenge, sag that with both hands. Being careful on the knee. Good. Let your foot go. Slowly shift back into a runner's lunge. We can flex that foot so we can get more of the calves stretched as well as the hamstrings again. So leaning forward over here. And then if it's in your practice, go ahead and slide that foot forward into a split position. So we move around a little bit here. Slide over. It really feels good, whatever you're feeling like you need after this workout. If you're not in a split position, that's totally fine. Stay in the runner stretch. It's a great stretch. Good, and when you're done, pull that leg back in. We're gonna switch sides, so lunge on the other side. Push those hips forward, but still maintaining contract contraction of the glutes. Stretch your hip flexors. Good. And then we're gonna, oh, I forgot the quad stretch. Stay there. <laughs> Snag your foot. Open up that chest, stretch your quad. Now let's shift back slowly to that runner stretch. Foot flex to get a calf in there too. And then if you do it on the other side and it's your practice on this side, slide on out to the splits. And if you stay put on the other side, stay put. Again, it's a good stretch there too. Right, when you're ready, come on up. We're going to take a seat, coming into a butterfly stretch. So, this is what dancers will do if they're just sitting around waiting for anything. Always sitting in butterfly. I don't know why, but it's just kind of good. I don't know. Um, you can lean forward, nice flat back, if you'd like that. Or, I always like to press into my knees a little bit and slowly move around. Anytime you're doing these types of stretches where it's a static hold, you want to make sure you're moving slowly so that your muscles don't tense up and cause injury. But when you move slow, your, your chances of injury are very small, so it's nice. And of course, paying attention to what feels good. It's a nice stretch, not hurting, that sort of thing. Good, let's stay here with our legs and take a shoulder stretch. side. Yes. Good. Let's spread those legs out, coming into a wide-legged motion here. Now, if you're super flexible and can do the splits in this motion, great. Go for it or, or go closer if you want. One arm, elbow comes down, other arm stretches up and over. Breathing into that side body again. On up, other side, stretch, beautiful ballerina arm, look up into your bicep. Good. Very nice. Let's bring those legs together. We'll finish 
in a child's pose, but we'll add a little tricep stretch in there as well. So knees wide, feet together, sit back on your heels, stretch out like you're going into a normal child's pose, but leave the elbows on the ground, put your palms back towards your shoulder blades, and lay your head down. This will give a good stretch to the back of your arms there. And breathe. And whenever you're ready, roll yourself up nice and slowly. Thank you so much for doing a ballet workout with me today. Thank you, Michelle, for giving me the chance to teach you all. And I hope you all have fun. Definitely comment and, and uh, let me know how you like it. If there's anything else that you're like, hey, you missed out on this. I'd love to know all your thoughts and, and how you felt afterwards as well. All right, everybody. Take care.